All right, Chloe, uh, not the result you wanted, but just tell me about that goal because you that goal really sparked that comeback in the second half. Yeah, I just, uh, going into halftime, you know, I wasn't necessarily happy with my own personal performance and, like, getting shots on net, so I just knew that if the opportunity presented itself, I wanted to take it. Um, I knew what was on the line for this game, and I just saw an opening, and I took it. Chloe, as Coach talked about your ha halftime, halftime messaging. Just what was your... Uh, your point of view on what she had to say over the halftime break and how does that take, impact your approach as you came out in the second half? I think she was just directed straight up and you know we knew what we needed to do and first half like we didn't show it we knew what needed to happen and we came out second half with a different attitude which I wish we had the whole game but I'm proud of how we came out second half and any other game we would have been happy with this comeback it's just tough circumstances. How would you describe this two years here at UCF? Uh, so many great memories and goals. Yeah. A lot of fans now are fans of yours. Like, well, How would you describe it? Uh, unforgettable. I mean, I'm going to carry these experiences, these moments, this goal for the rest of my life. And um, it's just an experience I can look back on and do nothing but smile. Yeah, the first time a, a player has gotten a double-digit goal season since 2021. You got your 11th golden night take me through that take me through that goal and what it felt like to be able to get you guys on the board after yeah that it was now. actually my uh 30th career goal as well uh <laughs> not that that means too much but um it just means the most just taking it one goal at a time you know every single game i knew that like i broke my single season record you know games ago but every single game it was another one another one and 11 was the number this year what does it mean for you at least from an individual standpoint to close out your college career like this getting to 30. Yeah, no, it, it feels great. I think it would have felt more great if, you know, we caught, we came and went through a postseason. But, um, again, nothing but, you know, nothing but proud for my teammates and what we at least accomplished. And we grew together this year. The all of alums here yeah. tonight supporting you there. Yeah. You're going to be joining them here in the near future. Yeah. When you do come back, what do you want people to say about Chloe next? I just want people to remember me for my own game. Uh, I just want to be remembered as not only as like a player, but as like a good person, uh, somebody who led the team, and um, somebody that the players on the field can then look up to. You, you were constantly an offensive leader for the team this year, whether it's in shots, goals, what have you. What has it felt like for you to be to be, have that role? For you? Yeah, I think in moments it felt like a lot of pressure, but I wouldn't want anybody to feel that pressure except for myself. Um, I think, you know, just being a leader, I was put in a leadership position and that was the role that I wanted to take on and I'm proud of what we accomplished uh, with me being a leader this season. What is the difference between the Chloe Nettle that first arrived here in Orlando versus the, use the Chloe Nettle we see right now? I think, um, you know, under Tiff and Tim, I definitely learned more of like a, the tactical side of the game. I used to kind of just put my head down and just play my game, but um, under Tiff and Tim, I definitely grew and matured a lot and I plan to just take those lessons with me on the field and off the field. Thank you so much. Thank you.